Hi, this video is the last one for this week's code pen challenge, which is loaders. Unlike the previous demos, we won't be using a single element here, but I'll still try to keep the CSS as compact as possible, around 15 declarations, and I hope you'll enjoy this. So let's get started with a mixin, which we'll call nest, and it's going to take a class and a level of nesting, and we'll create a div with a class equal to the one that we've passed, and within this div, if after decrementing n, it's still greater than zero, uh, then we call this mixin. And note that this n is this one after it got decremented. Now for the initial mixin call, uh, we'll have, so this will make it four, and this let's say it's going to be something like a ring. And what we want, okay, so we have four nested divs with a class of ring. That's perfect. Okay, now let's uh, start by putting something on the screen here. So we'll have an edge length, something like 13 ms. Um, so let's set width and height to the same edge length. Let's set box shadow something like this, just so that we can see stuff. Okay, this looks great. Now, um, something else I want to set here is a scaling factor. So let's say something like 0.6. So we're going to have that um, each um, of these is 0.6 of its parent. So um, let's set here as a custom property, a scaling factor of one, right? So um, when we set a transform scale, and it's going to use that factor, which is initially one. But if the ring has another ring parent, so it's not the root ring, whatever. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's the best name to call it, but whatever. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't mind. So as you can see, now they, they're getting smaller and smaller. And this is 0.6 of this edge length. This is 0.6 of its parent's edge length and so on. Okay. So now what's left here is 0.2 because this is 0.6 and what's left is 0.4 and divided equally this is 0.2 and in the middle it's going to be 0.1. So if I want to, to put a circle there that's centered uh, in the middle, it's going to be the radius of that circle is going to be uh, 1 minus that uh, factor which is going to be 0.4 as I mentioned before, and we're going to need to divide by four. So by two to get the diameter and by four to get uh, the radius. So times 25%. And now let's actually see it as uh, a background. So this is going to be a radial gradient circle at 50% uh, horizontally, that radius uh, red up to the radius and then transparent zero. And of course, otherwise it's not going to be valid. Okay, that looks great. Okay, uh, those positions aren't great because we have uh, a jagged edge there. So let's make that smoother. So first position is going to be calc um, the radius minus two pixels. And um, then we're going to have a second position. Right, and this is going to be minus one pixel. So there's going to be one pixel in between them. So this is going to be uh, my first position and the second position. Okay. And of course, we want this color to be the first one in the list like this. So having done this, let's take this, uh, oops, copy paste it. And this is going to be uh, the radius horizontally and the default is going to be 50% vertically and let's change the color to the second one on the list and it's starting to look like something. Okay, now we're going to have again like this and this is not going to be at the radius, it's going to be at 100% minus that radius and again we need to change the colors. So that index there Okay, we can get rid of this uh, box shadow and um, on the body, 
we set display grid uh, place content center let's set the margin of zero um, make this full height okay background something like this okay so this is it for the body and we have five declarations there uh, here we have three more and then two more five eleven so far this is pretty good so we're going to have keyframes animation to uh, transform and of course rotate one turn but we also need to add in that uh, scale from there right so we're going to have the scale and then uh, the rotation and here we add in an animation let's say two seconds ease in out infinite and this should pretty much do it okay uh, one more thing uh, I want to do so um, let's also set opacity to that factor and um, it should look even more interesting okay that's uh, that's great so uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you like the work that I've been putting out for more than eight years now, please consider supporting it to help me get by. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description as well as the link for this demo and everything else. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. Again, the links are going to be in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time.